right, it's another wonderful moment of real estate matters with Arthur Holmes. The moment we bring to you all the happenings in the real estate industry, not only in Arthur Holmes. Yeah, it is time that we tell you the things you need to know, the things that you benefit from doing real estate, and the things that you stand to benefit while doing real estate. Well, I am C. Godwin Rosemary Nyeka, the woman with the microphone, your shop log for all real estate matters. And today, I have a beautiful woman in the house who happens to be so fair, fairer than the fairest. <laughs> yes, she's fair, actually. And if you look at her, you would think she's a half cast. I don't know, she will tell us that in the course of this wonderful interactive moment. It's not that person, but our amiable and beautiful, sweet woman, Mrs. Ololade Ajayi. Ololade Ajayi. Wow. Welcome to Affable Homes Real Estate Matters. Thank you very much, Ma, for having me. Okay. You look so beautiful, by the way. And I feel so delighted to host you today on my show. All right. Affable Homes um, is a real estate company that is becoming so, so much like a household name. It has become, not like it's becoming, it has become because... When you ask a little child on the street, do you know any real estate? She will tell you, Affable Homes, the people with purple color, the owners of beautiful garden estates. Are you happy to be a realtor? Can you tell us what really motivated you to be a realtor with Affable Homes? So my journey into Affable Homes Limited started on the day of the summit. Okay. Prior to that day, I have this um, woman I respect so much that. I know she's a realtor and I see that she's doing well. So she spoke to me. She sent me a link and said, okay, um, there's a summit going on. I want to be part of this. And at first I was like, real estate. You know, I had no knowledge about real estate. I was like, real estate, what would I be doing? But I honored that invitation and I came. And that day I saw it was like a different world entirely. I heard so many things I've never heard before. I saw so many things. I, there was this motivation that was there that ah, if people can do it, I can do better. Wow. I can do better. I so I, 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 I shoved that I can't do it attitude out of my way that day. And Thank I was like, you. I can do this. Okay. I looked at her life. I looked at her, I looked at her, I looked at her story. I said, this woman, okay, she'll be my first room mother here. Then I heard the GMD of our Fable Home speak that day, and she blew me. Wow. She kept hammering on integrity and accountability. And I said, this is one of the qualities I want in a company I would like to work with. Okay. So I said, let me give them a trial. Okay. That was how it, it started. It's okay. All right, that's a nice one. Now, you said um, integrity. And accountability. Yes. The GMD was talking about it. Yes, I was also in that uh, summit. I heard her. She said it over and over again. And honestly, integrity and accountability, I think, is just what we eat and what we drink as far as our fellow homes is concerned. Now, before you you talking about the company we want to work with, what were you doing before that time? Yeah, before the summit. Yes. What were you doing? Okay, before the summit, I had just resigned from my job in the back end sector. Wow. Yes, ma. Um, you mean you resigned from a banking job? Yes, I did. As young as you are, vibrant, beautiful, attractive. So what could have led to that? You know, I had stayed there for almost nine years. Amazing. And I wasn't getting satisfaction anymore. The job was not giving me satisfaction. It wasn't giving me joy at all. You know, when you're in an environment where you put so much effort, so much hard work, um, and you are not appreciated. Um, there's there's no appreciation. There was no promotion money. for that eight and a half years. And I was giving my best. I, was, I sat one day and I was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't continue to do this anymore. I just have to just let go and let God. Hmm. And then branch out and see the world. Yeah. You know, you know there's one thing about the banking sector. It confines you. <laughs> You're locked up. You are locked up. It's like you are in a box. You are locked up. You can't you can't even see the light, the ray of light outside. It's it has a way of locking you up. There are opportunities out there. Hmm. 
Mm. That's a way of locking you up. And I said, I want to, I want to fly. So I said, I need to fly out of this cage. And that was how I just I proposed in my head that I was going to do it. I wasn't going to look back. Wow. I wasn't going to let anybody tell me, no, don't do this. No, don't do that. What will you do? Mm. I said, don't worry. There's God. And if yeah. I had, if I, if I, if I leave this, the God that provided this will provide something else, Definitely. even better. Definitely. That was how I just, I told my husband, I sat him and I said, you see, this journey in the banking sector has to come to an end. And of course, it's all reasons with me because, you know, it has been an on and off thing. Okay. We've been agreeing and disagreeing and agreeing and disagreeing <laughs> until we finally agreed. <laughs> That was how oh my I goodness. called it quit. I dropped my letter and left. And left. Wow. And look at me today. You took a bold step, if yes. you ask me. Because many people, I said many, they feel, oh, working in the banking shelter or being a bank worker is the best thing that could happen to a graduate. Once you graduate, you take a job with the bank. I mean, you've arrived. Mm -hmm. But here you are. You resigned as a very fresh, beautiful, smart, active-looking woman. Then you know what you want. And like you said, yes, I agree with you. The bank can lock people up. Because you rush in and you rush out late. Yes, they, first, they leave the house first. And they come back last. I have some of them as friends. Mm. I mean, when you call for a reunion, you will not see them. My mm -hmm. bank will not let me. When, you, when it's time for Christmas, they come on 24th night. 26th morning, they are hurrying to leave because 27th, if it happens to be on a Tuesday or Monday, they are hitting the road for jobs. So I wonder how you even succeed. I mean, how were you able to get married? I mean, it, 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 God must have stepped in because many of them, they are beautiful, but they are just, I mean, locked up there. Congratulations. Now that you are doing real estate, are you telling me that you're doing real estate full time? I am into real estate full time. And one good thing about uh, real estate is that it will show the world to you. Mm -hmm. It will introduce you to the world. It will bring you to come across so many people. Mm -hmm. I mean, the young, the middle class, the old. I mean, that's what real estate will do, you know, because everybody wants shelter. Mm -hmm. So as it is, tell us about your journey so far. The summit happened in the month of April 22nd, precisely. So have you been able to make any sales? Uh -huh. Thank you for that question, Ma. <laughs> the journey has been sweet. Wow. It has been less of stress. Wow. You know, I just sit with my phone and I just post and, and I see people commenting. I've made sales, like you asked me. Yes. <sighs> Congratulations. Thank you very much, Ma. <laughs> wow. In my two month journey with Afebu Homes, I made sales. Hmm. I made very good one. I closed a very good deal. Wow. So how were you able to do it? Because you hear some people that don't, um, they don't have the strategy of doing this business and they would say, ah, I don't know how to talk, I beg. You, I know you personally, aside from inviting you to my show, I know you as a person. Yes. I know you don't talk too much. You're always the one that will smile and walk away. So was it just smiling that got you your client? How did you do it? Because I know you have to do some explanations. Before somebody was okay, let me sign this deal. Okay, this client of mine that eventually became a full client because he bought the land yeah. is someone that had known me for a while. Okay. So um, he saw my WhatsApp status one day and he commented. He just said, um, Is this what you do now? I said, Yes, this is what I do. He said, Okay. What about the bank? I said, I have left, I have moved on. He said, wow. Okay. He said, Hey, oh, congratulations. Hmm. Congratulations. Um, this land, I'm interested in it. And lo and behold, before we could say Genesis to Revelation, he bought the land. Hmm. He just he he made commitments. And that was that was it. That was it. That was just it. And I want to tell you that no matter how much your salary is in the real in that banking industry, hmm? <laughs> one sales that you make in the real estate industry mm -hmm. will beat one month salary. True or false? You know that. That's true. I know. You people, you work too much. <laughs> but most of you don't get too much. I'm sorry. You work more and endless. Honestly. <laughs> That's the most painful aspect of it. You work hard. 
and you are paid less. And I want to tell you, you're looking fresher, by the way. Maybe because you are no more stressed. I'm no more stressed. You know, real estate, like you said, is a business you do at your own comfort time, in your own comfort zone. It's a business you would do that nothing, it doesn't interfere in mm. any other thing you're doing. Yes. I mean, on your bed, you can lie down and do your post, and somebody is making request to know the location of the land you're posting. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think it's the best decision, even as a mom, by the way. As, as a, a mom. Mother. Yes. Yeah. As a mother, it's not easy doing this bank uh, job. But you can do your parenthood, your motherhood things, also do your real estate thing. True or false? True, true, true. Okay. Now, let me ask you another question. Some people will tell me, a hey, woman with a mic, where will I see bias? How do I see bias? How do, how do you get contact? How do you get your contact? With people? Do you manufacture them or you they are existing people? Tell us. I mean, of course, your, your clients are your existing contacts. Okay. Those contacts you have on your phone, okay. they are your clients. Your family members are your clients. In fact, your, your neighbors are your clients. Thank you. Your church members are your clients. Your uh, so colleagues. Yes, colleagues are your clients. Client. You don't yeah. even need to go far. You don't even need. They are, they are there. You have their contacts in your phone. Sure. And they are seeing your WhatsApp status. Just give them a call. They are there. They are your first contacts. I made my first sales through a WhatsApp status. Wow. So you don't you don't need to go far to manufacture. You don't even need to stress your head. Wow. They are there. Just tap your phone. Pick your phone and tap. They are there at your fingertips. Wow. Hmm. I'm so happy for you because I know what I'm saying. Now, I noticed something. I don't know. Before now, how active were you on Facebook? Oh. <laughs> this question. Yes. <laughs> because I've seen that your Facebook page has resurfaced and it's so lively now. <laughs> so, you know, is that part of the uh, marketing zone? Your, you use your social media handles. How many of your social media handles do you use in making mm -hmm. your um sales adverts mm -hmm. and all that okay so prior to this time i was not really a social media person i know right even the bank will not even avail you such it will not exactly. avail that luxury you exactly. cannot be on the seats and pressing your phone at the same time honestly because i remember okay. one day i went to the bank sorry i went to the bank and i said please uh, titi i'll call you to know if people have dollar because i wanted the, i wanted to get dollar that was sent to me he said, I cannot answer you unless I get to ask. Ah. So how will I know now if you're sick and the dollar comes, then somebody pays in dollar and I want to withdraw? He said, no, till I get to a call and say, I say, ah, is that that serious? Is that bad? I don't think I'll you that luxury at all. You can't, there's so much work to do in your table. Where will you have the time to press phone? Hmm. There's no time to do that. So that was how your Facebook was? My Facebook was, was dormant. Was virtually dead. Hmm. You know, somebody even chatted me on WhatsApp today and said, you are now active on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I said, yes. I see you posting about land. Yes. Are you into a real estate photo? I said, yes. Wow. Oh. Wow. Because you, some people are still shocked. That, ah, this lady is not active on Facebook. Mm. Active on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Ah, this is good. Wow. So, the, the, the changes... Is, is evident for it all to is. see. And I mean, happy you for you me. Change. It's, I'm so happy for you as well. Amazing. Amazing. Anyway, you have really been doing very well. Having um, started two months ago, and today, before today, by the way, you've already closed a deal. It means you really have embraced this business. And you're looking happy and excited about it. Seriously. Okay? Do you have the mind of continuing this business even in the next five years? Or do you think maybe let me just do it for two to three years and then i will go to other business of my dream do you have any other dream of another business that you want to do and leave real estate out of it or do you intend to carry real estate and any other one just let me know i like this question you asked me okay that is what i've thought over okay no matter what i do in the future is this real estate i'll carry it along with me wow it's it's it as in real estate is the now. It is the not now. Not even the future. It is, it the is now. now. Yes. So if I, if you are looking at the future, you start from now. Okay. Real estate is now. Mm -hmm. So I am not letting go on this. Okay. At all. I know too well that when you are working in the bank, 
definitely as a good and uh, or will I say hard working bank worker. You leave the house in the morning very early. Very early. Sometimes before the children will go to school, sometimes you drop them off. So how has it been now com uh, combining motherhood and real estate business, comparing it to um, doing parenting and banking and real estate and parenting? Can you just give us the difference? You know, real estate has afforded me the time to face parenthood. Wow. You know, my children are happier now. Amazing. They see mommy when they come back from yeah, school. Exactly. They, 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 they react with, they, they relate with mommy better now than before. Than when I wake up in the morning, very early in the morning, and the only time they see me is at night. So it has given me that time to, to face my children, to, to take care of them, children. to nurture them the way yeah. I want. You know, my children are at this stage where I have to really nurture them now. That's the stage they are now. So it has afforded me that time. It has given me that time to, to really face my children, face my home, face my home too. It has given me that time. Yes. Compared to when I was in the bank, when it was always rush, rush, rush in, rush out, rush I in, can, rush out. But I even, can relate. Even weekends, I can relate. even weekends, even if, when I was in the bank, in, during weekends, they don't, because mommy is tired. So they don't even have mommy this mommy is tired they don't even have my time even weekends so now i have the time to do real estate and still face my children the home front is is really is really appreciating now hmm. do you know what what i'm just hearing my that's what mommy is tired do you know the children they even feel the pain more mommy is home but she's tired because she mommy just came back so the elderly will be like junior stop mommy is tired and they really want you but that what, what can they do? Mommy is tired. Oh, I think I should put up some talk on that. Mommy is tired. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mommy is tired. Okay. Thank God that you, you took this wise decision. And I'm happy that the home front is appreciating now that it is like this. Um, do you think you will advise some young moms, some young mothers to tow this path? with you do mm. you think so in the real estate they should throw it because some of them you give them real estate as an offer and you give them banking work just because they want to see i work in the bank and they are cool do you think you have something to tell them you know what funny enough most of my colleagues in the bank they know that there's something better out there but ah. it's just the fear of how to face it of leaving it that is the problem hmm. of course they do and i'll advise every young person out there especially if you're a female married one mm -hmm. to embrace real estate wow you can give it an initial start you can start initially with it i'm not saying you should dump your yeah. your job yeah but by the time you get in and you see what it's about yeah you would leave that job because this real estate has everything you need Honestly. the opportunity is so enormous Honestly. there's everything you need in it eventually they'll find out that real estate is better they will eventually they will mm -hmm. somebody one day said something went to the salon to make hair and she said to me you're always conscious of your hair like your bank work i said no Mm -hmm. I am conscious because I'm always before the camera. Yeah, I'm a, an event compare. I'm always having shows and all that. And I mean, I have to look good. He said, ah, that one is good though. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the bank workers, the bank workers, mm -hmm. that they make the hair for the bank, mm -hmm. not for themselves. Mm -hmm. I said, I said, ah, they live their life for the bank. I said, she said, Monday to weekend, they are there. Mm -hmm. Then the Saturday they should rest. We're gonna make her because of Monday. Oh, that's in touch to me. He said, Do you know if you don't have events, you can carry a hair? I said, Why not? Sometimes I carry my even if I have events, I wear what I like. He said, But in the bank, you see them, they want to make hair because of the bank, because they don't want to be queried. Why are you looking mm. like this? They, that there's no life they're living that is for themselves. It didn't got me. So when you say they resigned, I feel out you really have done yourself well mm. okay very well 
in the next five years, where do you see yourself with the business mm. of real estate? <laughs> you know, my husband and I were talking sometimes, some few days back, and he was saying, this real estate, are you sure we will not go and have a niche for ourselves there, business-wise? And I said, are you sure you want to do this? He said, yes. He said, I'm looking at you. You've changed. He said, <laughs> he said, they can change people, though. Said, <laughs> that was not saying. They can change people. Yeah, okay. My husband said, I'm seeing a new you. Amazing. Said, the other sure? side of you yeah. that is very wonderful. So he said, are you sure we're not going to carve a niche for ourselves there? And I know where he's going to. He's probably saying, maybe we would, would get um, affiliates, affiliated yeah, with a real yeah, estate company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people will start with a Facebook home. So I said, yeah. that is a good start. Franchise, I kind said, of. A franchise. I yes. said, because a Facebook home is a, is a very fertile ground. I said, yeah. let's, give, let's give it a good thought. Yeah. Let's work on it. So, in five years' time, I see myself doing great things in real estate industry. I believe you. I see For myself you to have done this things. marvelous under two months, five years, will be Mrs. Olalade to the world with real estate business. By the grace wow. of God. Well, that's it. I like when I see people that that have dreams and they, they, they chase their dreams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's one thing to dream and that is to live it out. Mm -hmm. Live out your dream. And I think you're one person that is really doing that. And as I still say it, as a young mom, it is the best thing that has happened to you. Mm -hmm. I've never been in the banking industry before. In mm -hmm. fact, when I newly graduated, finished my youth service, Someone that's that's my cosmate, she introduced me. She said, Hey, let me give you a letter. I have someone who's a bank. Mm -hmm. I said, My son is just three years. I don't want mm -hmm. to run kitty 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 kata kata kata. <laughs> because I know the job of the uh, that industry called bank is mm -hmm. job of you hurry up, you go out, you hurriedly come back, looking tired, anything. Sometimes they don't cook their own food. They pay people to cook soup for them. How will my child know that I can cook? Mm -hmm. How my how will my child be proud of me? But now you're doing real estate. You do your postings, you do your um, WhatsApp and Facebook postings, you respond to the messages, and you enter the kitchen. You do the needful. You go to the to the bathroom, you have you have your clothes, put in the washing machine or use your hand to do your washing, mm -hmm. anything you want to do. You wait for the children to come back from school. You just with them where you want to just. Mm -hmm. You attend your training where you want to attend. Real estate business is the best entrepreneurial business I've ever come across. Mm -hmm. Take it anywhere. For me, personally, the woman with the mic is telling you that real estate business is the best entrepreneurial business. And my sister here, my guest, Mrs. Ololade, is also a witness to that. Look at her. Very, very young, beautiful, fresh, and active. I'm hampering on that freshness because it is really <laughs> increasing now that you're doing real estate. Thanks to real estate. Can, yes, somebody can really pass you on the and think you have cats. Ah. Honestly, <laughs> the stress is no more. I know you now. You know I know you. So, yes, you I do. mean, you look beautiful, more beautiful now. Thank so you. So, my, my viewers out there, maybe you're still considering you don't want to leave this job because of insecurity. Uh, my financial status so is insecure if I leave this job. Take that bold step today. Don't leave the job, please. But involve real estate in it. Then when you find that, put it on the scale. Where it and not the one that gives you the highest. Then you follow your dream. Stop leaving somebody's dream for them. Leave your own dream. Mm -hmm. By the way, real estate is a job that you can do and do any other thing alongside. It doesn't interfere with so whatsoever you are doing. So don't just let your clients pass you. I wish you were doing real estate while you were in the bank. After the, you just get numbers of some of the clients that say, hey, thank you for doing this. And when you get to so you chat them up. Mm. By now, I mean, but it's mm -hmm. not too late. You can still reach there. And I'm happy that your husband has even wider vision. Mm -hmm. For him to say, let's have a niche for ourselves. Wow. That is it. Mm -hmm. You can actually do what we call franchise with our table homes. Mm -hmm. We are open to that. As far as you meet all the criteria that is laid down, that are laid down for such um, package. Mm -hmm. So you out there, the youth, the middle age, you want to start a business, you are confused, you don't want to do. Come to Arthur Homes, the owners of Beautiful Garden Estate, and ask us, 
How do I partner with you? How do I invest? How do I become a realtor? She's just two months old with us. She's just the, one of the newest uh, realtors. Yeah, she joined us April when we did the uh, um, female realtor, I mean, the female summit, the women's summit, and we got her as one of our guests. And today she is one of our realtors, giving her testimonies how she has made her sales without stress. You have your family members, you have your friends, you have your school mates out there. Some of them don't blow, yeah, some of them don't make up. And they don't know what to do with money. And you are there looking at them. Some are even eating with their two hands. <laughs> it's your duty to tell them, my sister, my brother, my friend, why don't you invest in real estate today? She is making her family proud now because anyone that knows her will definitely invest. We all, know, we all need that one person that will show us way. Not only when you have money. If you have the idea, you have much more than the person that has money. Because your idea can rule the world. So I think, um, Sister Mrs. Alolade, yes, you have done noble. You have done well. And keep doing it. Thank Afebo Homes, we are celebrating you. Our star woman of the month. Yes. Thank you, you are very amazing. much. Bro. In the community of our female writers, she is the star woman of the month. We have a community where we empower women to do this business. Look at her. She's not looking hungry. All fresh. <laughs> yeah, and thanks to real estate business. All right, till I come your way next week. I hope you keep investing and keep thinking about it so that when next I come, just chat me or come to my DM and chat me up on 0706 347 9865 and ask me, woman with the mic, how do I join this business? And I'll definitely show you the way because that's what I'm here for. Why not? You need to follow who know the way. Thank you for keeping a date with us today out there. And I know you will not miss next week because you're coming with something super. Another guest will be here to tell you what real estate has done for them and to them. So till next week, do have a pleasant time. And to you, Mrs. Lala, thank you for coming. Thank Come you very much, Ma, for having yeah. me. All right. Mm -hmm.